Hello everybody, Ryan the Almighty here. Welcome to episode 13 of my Let's Play of the Mad Pack. Episode 13, oh no. Let's hope it's not going to be unlucky for us. Um, so as you can see, I've done a little bit of work uh, in between episodes. I extended this out a little bit because I was sick of only having four chests when I always have my lovely five chests set up. Uh, I also moved the sugarcane over here and expanded the farm just a little bit. Uh, just to get a little bit more uh, things growing. Uh, and uh, what I did is I successfully upgraded this to tier 5. Uh, what I did was basically just put a bunch of upgrades on my backpack. And yeah, it's got a lot more in it. Uh, it's called Ryan's Backpack of Doom. Uh, I don't know why I named it that, to be honest. Um, probably not a good name, considering we don't want Doom. Uh, but, I also have my grinding furnace, getting tons of stuff, and slowly cooking everything up, all my stuff, into ingots. Now, I looked ahead a little bit, and this episode is the one where we finally get what we're after. A Rod of Restoration and a Rod of uh, Return. That's what Tier 5 gives us. If we have a look, we can see a uh, traditional symbol of freedom and avian flu. Ah, that's also something that would be good to get is flying. I'm not sure if that gives us that or not. But this, your tears give me strength and regeneration. Now that's a tier. As you can see, uh, where is it? We have six of those, so no need to go to the never to get gas tiers, thankfully. Uh, we've also got two potions. Uh, potion of invisibility, and uh, I'm pretty sure a potion of some kind, but then again, I'm just a sentence, perhaps if I could just see a little better. I'm guessing a potion of night vision is that one. And we've got an advanced RE battery. But the main thing we're after is this tier. This should be pretty easy. We just need to get a force rod. So I'm going to grab... Actually, no, I need a force stick, not a normal stick. Uh, let's grab a force stick. And we need a force ingot and a nugget. I'm pretty sure that's how you make it. There we go. Force rod. Now we want to imbue it with tears. Not sure if we can put more than one on or not. No, can we not put tears on it? Uh, okay. Tears give me strength and regeneration. These are tears. What do they even go on though? Does this need to be filled with force or something? Hold on. Maybe this needs to be filled with force. Let's try that. Nope, it can't be put in. Uh, I could swear that should work. How very odd. I was 100% certain, but uh, either way, uh, let's see. Maybe we don't put it on that. I would think you put it on a force rod. Does it just go on a plain stick, maybe? We can't even put sticks in there. I'd have no clue then. Um, but the other feather we need is Rock's Feather, which is two pieces of glowstone and two feather dust. I don't know if we have any feathers. No, we don't. The only way to get it is scrap boxes. Or, of course, from chickens. We may have to go find a chicken then. Uh, it is just morning. So what I can do is get my looting sword. We can head out and try and find a chicken. Because I would think that that feather might give us flight, which, uh, again, flight is a good thing. It would be nice to fly around and not have to basically 
well, run around everywhere. But this should be the last episode that I focus on um, getting all the Darkcraft research done. Because that's what we're aiming for, is the Rod of Restoration, Rod of Return, and now, of course, uh, the uh, the flying ability, which I believe goes on armor. So, let's continue on. I may have to look up why I can't seem to put that tier on things. Hopefully, it doesn't need to be a gas tier. Because that would uh, ruin, ruin things and would have to go to the nether. And... Oh, jeez. Well, that came from somewhere. Uh, let me turn my volume up, actually. I should think it's um, this. I don't know. Maybe it was just far away. All well, the volume is uh, really low. Uh, it seems fine. Leave it for now. Hopefully we can find a chicken. I don't know if chickens will spawn in snow biomes or not, but what I'll do is I'll head off, try and find a chicken, so you don't... Oh, look at that. Never mind. Let me get some feathers out of this. Ow. I hear a spider. 15 feathers, good enough. Alright, so to... I'll head home, and I'll meet there. Alright, we're back. Uh, let's make this feather thing. Feather dust, that's alright. We put that in the grinding thing. Let me... No, 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 no. I forgot I had stuff in the hopper. Let me do that. I think I only need one. How much did that give me? Uh, just one. Okay. Uh, let me put this stuff back in the hopper. Once this comes out, it'll come into here. There we go. Two feather dust. What I've also got is a chicken egg. Let's see if we can get a chicken. Nope. Alright, so let's do this. We got two glowstone. Actually, glowstone goes on the side. Feather. Two feather dust gets us rocks feather. Now, let me put this on some boots. One, two, one, two. Let's do boot, boot, boots, and rocks feather. All right. I would think this would give us some sort of flying ability. That would be my first guess. Wing. Does that give us flying? Oh, yes, it does. Oh, well, kind of. Just seems to be some sort of double jump thing. I have to figure out how it actually properly works. I think maybe I need to put it on a sword or something. Not 100% sure. Uh, wing swords will fling their user when they right click while holding the jump key, or allow small amounts of flights with a sneak jump. On armor, it will allow flight and increase the maximum duration of flight. So I'll hold. Oh yeah, it does work. Nice. So we kind of have flying now. <laughs> I don't trust it too much. I don't really want to fall to my death. So uh, give me a minute. I'm going to check out this whole tier thing and see what happens. All right. So after looking around and looking at the Darkcraft actual uh, wiki, or uh, well not wiki, but uh, forum page, Turns out we do actually need a gas tier. Oh, I'm guessing there's no way to create it. Of course there's not. That would be too easy, wouldn't it? Oh, no. Well, there goes that. <laughs> we can't progress until we get a uh, gas tier. I'm pretty sure I know that I don't have a gas tier. So that's uh, quite annoying, actually. That's uh, basically ruined what I want to do. I'll keep that in there for now. 
Uh, I'll also keep my looting sword in there just in case I do need it in the spare boats. So yeah, I mean, that's basically ruined my plans. Uh, there's not much I can really do about that. Uh, we can, I suppose we could try to go to the nether and, and see how bad that goes. It could go good, it could go bad, uh, but the first thing, I don't even know if I have any obsidian. No. Uh, but we don't need obsidian, all I need is a good amount of iron and good old medium stone. Because four pieces of iron equals an obsidian. No. I said to put, was it two? I know there's a way to make obsidian. Ah, oh, it's two pieces of wood, that's right. Alright. Even cheaper than I thought. So that's fine with me. Uh, mm, so we don't have much wood. Yeah, we really don't have much wood at all. I wonder if I can use four slogs. Doesn't look like it. Sure, there's some way to make wood with iron or something. You can convert between the wood, but uh, that's about it. Unless I have a ton of planks in here. Yeah, no. Looks like I may have to go out and check my tree, but this will give us a good chance to uh, try out our new boots. see how well they actually work. It doesn't work on water, which is a bit of a pain, but uh, that's alright. Yeah, they're not perfect. <laughs> kind of just keeps you floating in the same place you are. Uh, well, once I get all these enchants done, then I can basically work on uh, getting proper tools. Because that's the problem at the moment is, well not the proper tools, but the proper dark craft things. Uh, I have to sit down, map out kind of the things that I want. So that uh, all the dark craft tools are kind of, uh, you know, they work together to give me as much advantage as possible because yeah all that really does is keep you floating I think I may need to put on a sword but uh, like I said I'm not going to worry about that just yet until I can get everything else that I want let's so make sure we have my sandwiches my lovely peach jelly sandwiches and let's uh, get this wood going there we go, that's plenty for a portal. Uh, this may or may not end badly. Uh, we need 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Put the ink sack away. Uh, we need a flint and steel, so... It's really flint and iron. I think all my flint's over here, actually. There we go. Alright. What I think I'll do is I'll put that downstairs so it's kind of uh, not constantly making noise when I don't want it to. Um, bow. Alright, what options for bows do we have? Whoa, that one was close. Uh, I can't be bothered making a dark craft one. Force bow. Alright, so let's do a force bow and let's put uh, some things on it. I think I did that. Oh no, I did that right. I uh, don't think we have many arrows though. Oh, we have 30 arrows. That's uh, good enough for now. So let's take a look through. We probably want some sort of good stuff on it. Uh, Bleed, maybe? B 
bleed, heat, and power. I think would be the good things to put on it. Not sure how much of that I can actually put on it. Put bleed. And we want the golden power source. Not sure how many of those we can put on. Yeah, just one. Can we put another arrow on? We can. Alright. Three lots of damage, two lots of bleed, and heat. Alright, let's do that. Could be a good combination, or it could be horribly bad. Either way, uh, it's some way to protect ourselves. There we go, bleeding two, power three, and it's a heat bow. Lovely. Uh, what I'm going to do is going to pop that and that into there. And make a new uh, meteor. Uh, how do we do that again? New meteor pick. Oh yeah, it's just with a handle made out of iron. There we go. Alright. I think I'll put my good old magnetized boots back on. Since uh, the flying doesn't seem to work too well. Let's check out how this goes. Uh, do I need arrows? Seriously? Change to torch mode. Uh, fire mode. How the heck do I use my uh, bow? Do I... Uh, does it need force? Okay, maybe that's what it needs. No? Do I need some sort of special arrow? Uh, I think I need force arrows. Feathers and force nuggets. Okay. How many feathers do I have? Oh, I have tons of feathers. So I can make a few more uh, of these sticks. Go ahead and make 18 all. Oh, actually, I'll just make a stack of arrows. Uh, that's the way around, isn't it? Yep. Oopsies, I made them all. There we go. We changed to heat mode. Oh, yeah. I like that. So, 5960. How much force does that take? 59. Oh, it takes 20 force. There should be plenty there. Alright. Did I actually... S oh, jeez. No, I don't want uh, things to be set on fire. Thank you. Alright, so we got this great bow. I don't know how good it is. Um, I suppose we'll find out. Uh, let's head downstairs. See if we can find a guinea pig. If not, we can at least set up the uh, Neville portal. I think I may set it up at the... Mm, I should know, I'll set up at this level. No guinea pigs, but uh, that's fine. Do, do, do. There we go. Alright, so that should be good now. Uh, let's light this sucker. Alright, uh, let's 
see if this is going to end really badly or not. Alright, let me... Alright. Let's go. God, I'm nervous. Come on. It's taking its damn time, that's for sure. Oh, don't tell me it's crashed. Are you kidding? I don't know if it's crashed or it's just taking a while, but, uh... Oh, no, there we go. Oh, far out. I can hear a gasp. Good thing, because we need its tears. But also a bad thing. Because we, are. Uh, on a pretty bad spawn here. Alright, there's nothing uh, coming out to kill me straight away. Alright. It's kind of, uh, I should have bought way more cobblestone with me. Alright. Whew. Let me do one thing and do portal. Just so I don't uh, lose where the portal actually is. The fact that I can hear a ghast is good news, but also possibly bad news because. Oh, let's see if we can kill this guy. I'm not very good with bows. Maybe because it's on fire, I'm just going to leave him, to be honest. <laughs> Let's torch mode work. Boink! Oh! Nope. Okay. Alright, let's uh, keep it on fire mode for now. Alright. Let's head up and see what trouble we can get ourselves into. Holy moly, I don't like the sound of that. Oh, there's a uh, cyber or oh, behemoth. Oh, does a good amount of damage. Holy moly. Alright, let's get rid of him. And this guy. Oh god, I really don't like this. Oh, jeez. Holy moly. God, we weren't here long <laughs> We're already freaking almost dead. Oh dear. Alright, I'm gonna head... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna head back. Whew. Well, uh, that was <laughs> an interesting first trip to the Never. Uh, I don't know if those fighter ghasts will give you uh, any tears or not. All I need is one. One. Like, literally, that's it. Go away. 
I really like this uh, bow though. It's quite powerful. And it cooks fish. Of course it does. It sets things on fire. Yeah, I love this bow. But anyway, um, hmm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to end the recording there, but I'm going to keep recording. And I'm going to go to the Never and see if I can fight and get these things. And just see what happens. Um, actually, no. What I'll do is I'll leave it. I'll heal up and then we'll go back this episode. See if we can finish it off. So I'll wait until I'm fully healed. Uh, actually, can we get some sort of potion of regeneration? Although, we'd need blade, Blaze Rod for that. Yeah, we can get Potion of Regenerations. Can I use Gut? I can use Normal Tears for that. They're pretty easy to get. Uh, it might be a good idea to get that. Or even Golden Apples. Blaze Rod. Uh, there's no way to make Blaze Rods. So, unless I happen to have one. Just uh, lying about. No. Alright, what about Golden Apple? They should be, uh... Well, we don't have any apples. Unless there's a way to make them. No. Alright, uh... I think that's all that can actually heal you, so... Yeah, I think we're out of luck in both of those cases. What if I just search for heal? What does that do? Oh, there's no recipe. Elixir of healing. Redstone. Oh, ghast here. Let me get these solvents. Vial of ordinary water. Uh, it might be interesting to see if we can make those. Let me have a look. Because if they can heal you, uh, I'm happy with that. Okay, none of those. Alright. Now, can I just fill this up? Ooh. Lovely. Vial of ordinary water we have. Uh, elixir of healing. We need two glowstone and glistening melons, which is gold nuggets and melon. Uh, if we have melon seeds, that would be great. Or if we have uh, pumpkin seeds, no. Oh, I have tons of eggs. I didn't realize that. Uh, no seeds. Uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, let's check for melon, see if there's any other way to get melon seeds. Just from pumpkin seeds, as I uh, already knew. Alright, so apparently I stopped recording. Uh, it was only for about uh, two, three minutes. Uh, I need to remove the key to do that off of something which is accidentally pressed. Uh, so basically, what we need to do is find pumpkins. Uh, if we find pumpkins, we can turn pumpkin seeds into melon seeds and get a good uh, healing process going on. Uh, is there any other way to get pumpkins? Not pump clemen, pumpkin. Yeah, just melon. Hmm, not even sure if there are pumpkins in this pack, uh, if they're disabled or not. Uh, what I'll do is now that it's daytime, uh, maybe a good idea to go and check for them. So what I'm going to do is before heading back to the Nevin next episode is we're going to get some sort of healing potions going. Uh, so I'm going to go and look for mel uh, pumpkins and I'll see you guys next episode. Alright, bye.